Hello, citizens. I'm Mayor Anthony S. Ford. I'm a very proud 30-year U.S. Army veteran. Happy Veterans Day to you. This is a very important time to recognize that men and women have served our great nation and the sacrifices they have given to ensure that our nation is free. May God continue to bless our veterans and all our citizens. Stop Bridge Strong. Stop Bridge with Community Connects. The courage and resilience our veterans demonstrate is quite noteworthy during this time in our nation's history. The men and women in the U.S. Armed Forces have our deepest respect because of their service and sacrifices. Veterans are located throughout our communities. They are the very substance of this country. So on this Veterans Day and all year round, let's give them our respect. Our veterans give us hope for the future. Their efforts make the difference and our communities are better for it. Thank you, veterans. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Pastor Stephen Hitchcock from Stockbridge Assembly. And to all of our veterans, from all of us, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your sacrifice. The scripture says in John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. So from a grateful community, we say thank you. Let's pray. Father, we are grateful for our veterans watching today. I pray that each veteran would feel a deep and true honor. May they feel the gratitude from a grateful community. And while we know, God, that it is difficult for servicemen and women to return to civilian life, I ask that you would continually surround each of our veterans with people of understanding, that this community would be a resource to them, and let them know that they are not isolated, but rather respected as part of this community. Father, we know that some of our veterans have deep wounds, memories that haunt them, and pains that they live with. So we're asking for complete healing today. We're asking for physical healing, emotional healing, relational healing, and most importantly, spiritual healing. And Father, on this Veterans Day, I ask that you would turn your face toward our veterans, that you would shower them with favor and comfort, that you would bless them beyond their own expectations. And most importantly, I pray that every veteran would come to know you, God. God, you already know them. You know their deeds. You know their hard work. You know their commitment and sacrifice. So now I ask that you would draw them to yourself. I ask that you would give them the peace that passes all understanding and that the peace of Christ would rule in their hearts, that they would be known and know your presence of great joy. We ask for your blessings on this day for this celebration. And we pray that this event would be felt in the intention of gratitude. Father, we love you, we trust you, we worship you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Our purple mountain majesties Yeah, you've proved through the night. 
Happy Veterans Day. I am Marine Corps Sergeant Regina Holsey. I would like to thank the City of Stockbridge, the Mayor and City Council for inviting me to participate in this Veterans Day celebration. The United States Marine Corps was established November 10th of 1775 at Tun Tavern, which was located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The United States Marine Corps is notorious for the battles that it has fought over our nation's history. Starting with our first amphibious assault, which was in the Bahamas at Fort Nassau during the Revolutionary War. Some of the Marine Corps' most notable battles are from 1805 in Derna, Tripoli, 1847 during the Mexican-American War at the Halls of Montezuma. Some of our nicknames are Jarheads, Leathernecks, and most formidably, Devil Dogs. This term was given to us during World War I from the Germans because they said we fought like hounds from hell. It was also during World War I, the first woman came into the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Her name was Opha Mae Johnson. During World War II, this is the time that the Marine Corps first became racially integrated. Black Marines were trained at Mumford Point, which is located in North Carolina. Throughout our nation's history, the Marine Corps has been notorious and on standby to serve as the few and the proud. Happy Veterans Day, siempre fideles. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever the time may be for you. I am Dr. Lucille O'Neill and I'm originally from Orlando, Florida, but I've just moved to the Atlanta area. So I wanna thank you for inviting me to just come and spend a little bit of time with you and help you celebrate Veterans Day 2020 because I don't know if you all know, but I consider myself a veteran as well. I was married to a service member for 20 years and we traveled in the United States as a part of the United States Army. I am a mother of four adult children. My oldest son, you may well know him, his name is Shaquille, and you all call him Shaq. And I have a daughter, Latifa. And then I have a daughter, Aisha, who has just passed away, but I still count her in as a part of our family. We miss her very much. And I have a young son whose name is Jamal. And by the way, I'm a grandmother of 16 grandchildren. So I know I'm a veteran parent, although I don't, and let me just say a disclaimer right now. I don't claim to be a perfect parent, but I do love parenting. And I just want to share a little bit of my story with you because we spent the 20 years in the military, we traveled in different places, but the service member, I want to say that's a very hard job. And I felt that I was a service member as well because when my husband went off to duty, I had to hold up the household. So I was the captain at home while he was working his duties out on the military bases and the different posts. But I think that the military assignments are something very, very special. And whether or not you're part of the Army, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, whatever branch of service you're in, just being a service member and a veteran is something very, very special. I realized when he joined the Army in 1974 that we were about to be on a special assignment. And I just considered it an assignment for God, from God, because we traveled and we had to make a sacrifice. One thing we had to do was leave our regular family. So we set out, me, Shaquille, and the rest of our children, and Phil, and we traveled to a different state. Every three or four years, we were in a different place. And we learned how to come together with different cultures of people. And in our household, we never saw black or white. We just saw human beings. And for us, that was something very, very special. And I know the veteran service member today, they probably have the same mindset because we're all in the military, and I'm speaking now like I'm still in the military. We're all in the military with an assignment. Whether or not we're living on the Army post, whether or not we're living outside of the Army post or military post, we're still on an assignment. That sacrifice that the service members and you as veterans have made 
to protect your country, protect your family. The people outside of the military assignments, they don't even realize the sacrifice that you made. But I want to say thank you on behalf of my family. I want to say thank you for all of the effort that you put into protecting these United States of America. I want to say thank you for the sacrifice that you made, your own personal sacrifices in order for us to have a better life. And I want to say thank you just for acknowledging your other veteran service members. Sometimes when you're out there in a different country, in a different state, you feel so alone. And if you don't have family, you, you really feel alone. So we spend a lot of time bringing in the young people and being a mother and having that mother instinct. I gathered up so many young service members and brought them to our home. We fed them, we entertained them, they played with our children just so that we can feel like a family unit because veterans, even though they are working hard, every now and then they get a little lonely, they get a little slack and they need somebody and we realized that we really needed each other. So I wanna remind you all that are listening to this message today that even though you think that you're alone, you're never really alone. When the group is gathered together and you're celebrating the different holidays, there is a, a certain ambiance that comes with bringing people together and it's called family. The veterans are nothing but a big family. And on this, this Veterans Day 2020, so many things have happened since 1974 and so many things have changed, but the one thing that has not changed is the love of unity, the love of family. We remember the sacrifices that were made and we remember the veterans every year on November the 11th. I wanna salute you today and I wanna just say thank you once again. I can't say that enough. I spoke to a, a veteran friend of mine and I told him about this message that I wanted to leave with you today and he reminded me of a Bible scripture in Isaiah 6 chapter and 8th verse when Isaiah was, was tasked to lead an army. He asked God, well, who's going to go? And so he made a commitment to God. He said, I'm ready to go. Send me. And so my veteran friend said, I only know of two people that really are ready to go and that is the service member and Jesus Christ himself. And when we think about the veterans and the oath that they take to, to uphold the Constitution, that is a great big sacrifice. Now they're underpaid, I can attest to that. And the world probably thinks that they get a lot of money for the jobs that they do, but that's not so. But one thing that I have learned, when they take that oath of office to uphold the Constitution and everything in it, they take that oath seriously. My husband, Phil, he was a soldier and he was a soldier until the day that he died. And he got sick in his body and we used to tell him, how come you never let anybody know how bad you're feeling? And he would just sit up straight and tall and the words that came out of his mouth was, I am a soldier. So I know you're gonna be a soldier till the day that you die as well. So let me salute you once again. This is Dr. Lucille O'Neill. And I just wanna say happy Veterans Day to you. God bless you. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. Thank my lucky stars to be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA